What is going on, everybody? This is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone. This is your weekly guitar gear news update. We have a bunch of stuff, some weird stuff, some pretty cool stuff, a neat new guitar. Let's get into it. Do me a favor before you watch this, just hit the like button and the subscribe button and do all the things that YouTubers do. Uh, thank you so much. And let's get into this here news. Fender uh, apparently is really getting into this fashion stuff. So we've got the Wrangler Fender uh, brand situation going here with denim on guitar cases and guitar straps. And I think maybe some picks too. So if you want a guitar case with a jeans pocket on it, uh, there you go. It is now a thing and I know you've always wanted one. Let me know in the comments if this is something you would be into. Walrus Audio is playing around with delay stuff. And Walrus Audio always does it just a little different and gives us maybe some noises we didn't know we could get with a guitar. I, I always think Walrus is really good at doing that kind of stuff. So we've got the Fable Granular Soundscape Generator. It's basically a delay, I think. Uh, this is something I'd like to try for myself because I like making guitar noises, but it sounds like it takes some of the delay signal and kind of cuts it up, makes it sort of lo-fi sounding, uh, and then puts it in series with some of the other signals. So then you basically have like a cut up, I don't know if it's bit crushed, micro sampled sort of delay tone with the granular soundscape generator. Pretty much in line with all the other stuff that Walrus does, giving you some interesting sounds with your guitar. JHS has come out with three new fuzz pedals uh, from, I guess, the, the 60s and the 70s, right? So you've got, uh, let's see, we've got the Berkeley, the Mary Kay, and the Plug-In. And they, you see them there, they're fairly basic controls because they're just fuzz pedals, not just, but you know what I mean. Uh, fuzz pedals are typically pretty simple. So we've got the Berkeley uh, Think Eric Johnson style fuzz. We've got the Mary Kay Think um, The Edge from U2 sort of fuzz. And then we've got the plug-in, which is supposed to be kind of after the boss plug-in fuzz. So uh, there you go. We've got three different fuzzes from JHS. Did you know that Fender has never done, until now, a signature bass amp, apparently? Uh, so uh, Adam Clayton, again, I guess we'll talk about you too again. Uh, they have their, what is this thing called? The ACB50 combo. So it's a 50 watt amp and it's got three 12AX7s, a 12AT7, and two 6L6s for a 50 watt bass amp. It also has a transformer coupled XLR uh, for the DI duties. It's got a 15 inch, I think this is an, yeah, an Eminence Neodymium 15 inch speaker. And it looks kind of like a basement. It's supposed to look, right? So pretty neat. Pretty neat amp, but it is a bass amp and it is the first apparently signature one. Remember more guitars with the, what is this thing called? The GTS, GTRS 900. Uh, this is, or the GTRS S 900. So it's a Strat style sort of single, single hum guitar, uh, but it's got a bunch of digital stuff in it. It's got a UHF transmitter that Bluetooths and then you can, um, or transmits anyway, to your phone so you can uh, play around with effects. You can do all kinds of stuff with the GTRS S900. They've just updated the hardware and software so it does even more stuff. 11 profiles, 126 effects, and an eight second looper, as well as, you know, the Bluetooth to your phone and all those sorts of things that the GTRS does. On top of that, uh, if you've ever seen one of these in person, it kind of felt a little, I don't want to say like a toy because it felt like a real guitar, but it just felt, let's just say the new ones are kind of look more legit, kind of a, a proper vintage S style kind of feel of a guitar. Like um, they look nice, a couple of different colors and they're not that expensive either. So these things are pretty interesting and every time I've seen somebody review one of these or play one they've liked messing around with them so there must be something to this and especially with these updated ones I bet they're gonna do pretty well 
ESP has launched some pointy guitars with Kirk Hammett, the LTD KHV signature models. They look sick. That is all you really have to say. 24 frets, 25 and a half inch scale, normal Kirk Hammett shreddy looks, but dressy, classy, super cool looking stuff. $17.99. So, you know, uh, they are not a cheap purchase, but they are very cool. And I think, I think they're gonna be available, actually available later this month, but here they are. Guild has now shared with us their new Surfliner offset. Uh, this is the Surfliner HH, it's 500 bucks. It's a popper body, 25 and a half inch scale, uh, two humbuggers, eight pickup combinations available. This thing is very cool. Um, I'm thinking, that this is one of those just grab it, play it the way it is, switch it around, make some sounds. Alnico two humbuckers. I mean, come on, really cool. Five hundred dollars. I wonder if you put this like played this next to the Rev Star, you just get totally two different vibes, but you would also get totally two different cool guitars for right in that five hundred dollar range. I dig that. As always, this will be uploaded to Patreon so you can watch it ad free. We rearrange things a little bit so that the $5 tier over there can watch the stuff ad free. I realize that makes it way more of a value. And uh, we've got a bunch of cool videos coming. I'm working on a pedal board video. I'm working on a Tonex video. I've got a new guitar coming tomorrow. We've got a Tele build going on. We've got an Ibanez build that's about to start. We have a bunch of stuff going, so make sure you stay tuned to Dylan Talks Tone. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you tomorrow for our live stream.